Edward strikes out. All the engines of Sodor are very happy to work on Sir Topham Hatt's railway. Edward has worked on the railway the longest. He knows everyone, and everyone knows him. One summer morning, Edward arrived at the docks. He had to pick up some heavy pipes. Gordon and Thomas were already there. Thomas was very excited. A new crane had just arrived on the island. He looks so strong, puffed Thomas. I'm sure he could even lift you up, Gordon, he chuckled. Gordon didn't think this was funny, and Thomas chuffed away. That crane might be big, Gordon sniffed, but he has no engine. He can't move unless another engine pulls him. Edward looked at the crane. Gordon was right. Then I don't think he can be really useful, chuffed Edward slowly. Quite right, Edward, huffed Gordon. He will only get in the way. Just then, Percy arrived. He was very excited to see the new crane, too. He's not very useful, boomed Gordon. He will only get in the way, echoed Edward. New fangled nonsense, wished Gordon, and he chuffed off. What's a new funneled nuisance, Edward? peeped Percy. New fangled nonsense, Percy, puffed Edward as grandly as he could. It's something that is new and not really useful. Edward's freight cars were right next to the new crane. My name's Rocky, the crane smiled at Edward. I'm Edward, puffed Edward. Can I come with you? asked Rocky. I could help you with those heavy pipes. I don't need your help, sniffed Edward. Newfangled nonsense. And he puffed off quickly, before the pipes had been properly tied down. Edward was approaching a signal. He was thinking about Rocky, and he was going too fast. Suddenly, the signal changed to red. Edward screeched to a stop. But the sides of the freight cars collapsed. Steel pipes toppled all over the tracks. Bust my buffers, puffed Edward. He looked at the heavy pipes and wondered what to do. Thomas had said Rocky was very strong. Newfangled nonsense, huffed Edward, and he asked his driver to telephone for Harvey. Harvey puffed and chuffed as fast as he could to the rescue. Harvey started to move the pipes, but the pipes were heavy. He could only lift them one by one. This is going to take me a very long time, gasped Harvey. Just then, Thomas and Emily arrived. They saw the pipes. We have to get through, tooted Thomas. Why don't you go and get Rocky? No, no, whistled Edward. Harvey is doing a fine job. We must be patient. I don't like being patient, pouted Emily. We have a very important job to do. Then they heard Gordon. He was going fast. Then there was trouble. Gordon hit the pipes with a loud crunch. He came off the tracks. It was a terrible mess. I can't lift Gordon, sighed Harvey. He's too heavy. Edward, we need Rocky, tooted Thomas. Gordon sniffed. New fangled nonsense. But Edward knew this was a disaster, and he knew that Harvey couldn't lift Gordon. There was only one thing to do. I'll go and get Rocky, Edward wished, and he raced off. Edward steamed into the docks. Rocky, we need your help, he whistled. It's an emergency. I'm ready and waiting, Edward, whistled Rocky happily. 
So Edward buffered up to Rocky, and together they left for the junction. Go get him, Edward! Edward pulled Rocky up hills and down valleys. Everyone cheered and waved at them. Edward felt very proud to be pulling the newest arrival on Sodor. Edward soon pulled up with Rocky. I can fix this, Rocky smiled. And with his mighty crane arm, Rocky lifted Gordon back onto the track. Gordon was surprised. Thank you, Rocky, he huffed. Good work. Then Rocky lifted all the pipes off the rails. The job was done in no time. Gordon and Edward were very impressed. I was silly to think you were newfangled nonsense, wished Edward to Rocky. You might be new, but you're also really useful. Welcome to our island. And everyone tooted and cheered for Rocky. <laughs> <laughs>